When comparing arrays, you cannot use the double equal operator to compare them. That's because it'll only tell you if the two arrays point to the same object in memory. So the right way to compare arrays is to first determine do these two arrays have the same size by using the length field. And then once you determine that that's true, you loop through each element of one of the arrays and compare it with the array element at that same index. And if all the elements are equal, then you know that the two arrays are also equal. Let's try that out. In class compare array demo, let's create two arrays. Int first, and we'll give it the values 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And I'm going to copy that and create two very similar arrays and call the other one second. So now we have two arrays that are identical first and second. And how do we compare them? So to help me compare them, I'm going to create a method called equals that will take two arrays as parameters. To help me compare them, I'm going to create a method called equals that's going to take two arrays as arguments and return true if the arrays are the same or false if they're not the same. So to write a method that does that, we'll start off with public and static, meaning we don't have to create an object in order to call this method. Boolean, because it's going to return true and false, and then the name of the method equals. And you can call this method whatever you want. I'm going to call it equals. Pat, take, it'll take two parameter. It'll take two parameters, int square bracket a. So both these parameters are integer arrays, int square bracket b and we're gonna simply do a couple of checks. The first one, let's check if the lengths are the same or not. So we know that if the lengths are not the same of array A and array B, then we know that the equals method should return false. So we do that by checking if A.length is not equal to B.length, if that's true, return false. Okay, next step, we're gonna loop through one of the arrays for int i equals zero, i is less than, and we'll pick either of the arrays, a or b, because they're the same length at this point, so just choose one. And so from L index array index zero to one less than the length, it's going to loop through every element of that array. We're gonna check if a at index i is not equal to b at index i, if that's true, at any point, we're looping through the array and the index for A, that element is not the same as the element that's at the index for B, the same index, then we will return false. And finally, if, if it never returns false from the length and it never returns false when comparing all of the elements in the array, we want to return true. And that's why we have these errors, because we haven't returned true true, we need to make sure that in any case, either true or false is returned in this method. So now that we wrote this method, let's test it out back in the main method. We're going to check if, and we'll call our method equals, and we'll pass our two arrays in there, first and second. So we'll print out with system.out.println that they are the same array. Else, we'll print out with system.out.println different array. All right, so let's try it out. So I'm going to run the program and we get same array. Now let's slightly change one of the arrays by removing the 10. So now they look the same but they're different sizes and now they're different arrays. Let's make them the same size and different elements and we still get different array. Change them back to the same array and we have the same array again. So that is how you compare arrays in Java.